Hey people, let me just explain what we're going to talk about real quick because this is all unscripted. That's why, hence the, the desktop. And so I just, he was talking about some good topics, so I saved it on Shadowplay twice, actually, two different videos. And we're talking about how the globalists uh, and the inbred shadow government who are basically just families ruling down for centuries. We're talking about how how they work and how they can be just eradicated if there's any way possible. So who's Duswami? Duswami is a that's not his real name, by the way. Um, he is a character from our ARC tribe. If you've seen some of my ARC videos, he is in them. If you want to go see more about him, uh, check out the ARC videos. And uh, if I remember, I'll put a link in the description to a video that I did a while ago talking about nuclear war and apocalypse with him. Totally unscripted as well. And he didn't even know I was recording him, but then I told him and he was totally okay with it. Uh, near the end of the video, you'll hear a guy um, talk and butt in. His name is Trevor. He's also part of the ARC uh, tribe that we are in. They were still playing, but I had just logged off, and we were still talking. So totally unscripted, totally, totally cool. And I started doing this because people... He was talking about some good points, and I thought people might want to hear it. So if you guys like this video, please subscribe and check out the ARC videos and the discussion videos, if I remember to put the description in the link in the uh, the link in the description, you get it. Okay, good, good. Okay, here we go. Over the people and then eventually take over. And the only way you're ever going to get rid of them is you have to confiscate all of the wealth and get all of their wealth and um, essentially monitor them and their descendants for for ages, make sure that they don't reacquire the wealth and the means to be able to continue to do this later on. Because they'll just come back and do it again. They've all history, same folk. And you know the story, it's really interesting because there's a lot of truth in fable. Like, you know the stories of Transylvania and Count Dracula and the bloodsuckers and all that kind of stuff. There's There's some real truth to that because even today, the elites like Peter Thiel, who's, you know, Peter Thiel, um, PayPal co-founder, uh, openly gay, came out at the Republican National Convention as, as openly gay, but supporting Trump. Do you know what Peter, you know how Peter Thiel stays young? You know what he does? What? He gets, he gets blood transfusions from, from uh, infants. That's fucked up. And this is very common because the elite believe that the key to longe uh, longe uh, longevity is through um, blood because the carrying capacity of hemoglobin, its ability to carry oxygen, diminishes over time. And so you get cellular degradation when you don't get enough oxygen, and that contributes to decay of, of your body. And so the elites believe that if you get frequent blood transfusions, you will live longer. And it's been something that's been going on since since the, the 70s and 60s, at least publicly. Well, Peter Thiel admits to this, but there is actually an underground market where you can get blood transfusions of infant blood, okay? Jesus and this blood, this blood contains stem cells in it that are able to rejuvenate the tissues in your body in such a way that you can actually slow down the aging process using prenatal and and aborted baby blood for these elites it's probably why hillary wants a uh, you know long-term abortion absolutely because it's it serves two purposes number one population control because the elites don't want the population to grow in such a way that they cannot be managed or controlled and then second of all they want the frickin' source of blood. Well, remember vampires? That's what vampires believe. Vampires believe that when you suck blood, 
you gain more life, you gain more power, you gain more energy. These people are literally modern day vampires. It's never changed. It's always been way. And it's, it's crazy. It's insane. These people belong. They are part of a Luciferian political cult. It's been going on for a long time. They literally believe that there is a cosmic being. Some people call him Satan that they they're getting divine inspiration from that gives them the right to rule over people and establish a totalitarian technocratic regime and they are psychotic and they will do anything to keep their positions of power and that's why i am so so afraid that they're going to try to start world war three in order to keep their their positions of power um it's it's nuts I mean, it's freaking absolutely crazy. And it, it's been right in front of us since the dawn of time. But there's no way to get rid of it, Riley, until you get rid of all their money. Because they'll come back two generations later and they will just start the same thing over again. And it'll be worse because every time we make leaps forward with technology, they use the technology to, um, to basically uh, further their own means as a form of enslavement. I mean, just look at how they've used technology with social media to change the narrative and control the language. And then they use political correctness to say what words you can and cannot use and once you control the words, you control the mind and you control the story. And then essentially, you know, you just keep people hopped up on antidepressants and uh, keep pumping fluoride into the water and lower their IQs. And autism rate goes up a thousand percent every two years and um, keep the population compliant and dumb. And uh, you can rule over them as masters of the universe until somebody tries to stop you.